broadcast live. I ain't got nothing to lose. I am the best in my section. If you're not feeding me, nigga, believe. Best get the fuck out my section. Niggas just riding the wave, yeah. You will remember my name, yeah. I am just shifting the gear, yeah. And I ain't got nothing to fear, yeah. You don't know me, you don't know me, you don't know me. Yo. What's up, dude? What up, bro? I don't know why you got that shit in the house. You why? You in the crib? No, I'm not. I'm not in the house. B. I'm literally like in the street. Oh, you're at the offices. Yeah, I needed to get something at the office, so you know, you can't walk in the office without a mask. You know what I mean? Yeah. How you doing, yeah. bro? I'm good. Man. How you doing? Good. How, how you doing? I'm easy, bro. I'm easy. I mean, we. It's, it's tough, but we have to do what we have to do, man. Is there music in the crazy. I see your hair. Your hair is. But you always been like had had long hair and shit. My shit is fucked up, bro. Yes, yes. <laughs> nah, B, like it's own. It's rough all across the board, B. Ah, it's rough, bro. Ish, it's rough, man. Across it's not working board. out. Can you yeah. see the music in the background there? No doubt. Oh man, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's start it. Let's I just hate start. silence. I'm not, I, I'm not a silence nigga. I just it's it freaks me out. Because because you're paranoid. That's <laughs> why so you write rhymes. I don't like silence, bro. I, I I can't even sleep with silence. Something has to be playing in the background, like soft mute something. It's, it's ish. I don't know. Maybe I have a condition, but I don't. It's not ish. It just messes me up. Bro. Do you feel that you kind of like paranoid? <laughs> Is that what does it mean like I'm paranoid? I'm just saying even the things that you say on your rhymes you're always writing like you are you are, you always <laughs> like writing like you felt the fear the fear touched I know you. bro and, uh, this is true and, you know you, you always write like you feel the fear touch you and um and it was aggressive with you so now you literally just like reliving it through your lyrics that's that's how I feel about your writing at times that's not that's so not true. <laughs> that's so not true, bro. I just and people just pin pinpoint what let, let me put it this way. You know how directors, right? In in movies there's different kinds of directors. Yeah. Like if you were looking for some action shit, you go to Michael Bay like with explosions and whatever. Yeah. If you're looking for some eerie thriller kind of shit that has suspense, you go to that M Shala Line guy. If you're yeah. looking for some comedy, you go to, if, why can't it be like that in music? Why does every artist have to do everything? Why can't it be like no, that no, in music? No. If, you're looking, no. if you're looking for like, like, yo, man, I'm looking for some, like, uh, hey, like, let me go out, listen to Adele. I'm, list, I'm looking for some real shit. Let me go to Adele. Hey, I'm, li- I'm, I'm looking for some lively shit. Let me go, why can't it be like that in music? It's like artists have to be jacks of all trades and do everything. I'm just speaking no. in general. No, I mean, I, I, I don't feel that way. I mean, I'm just describing your M. Charmaine kind of approach, you know? <laughs> so if, 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 I was, if I was, like, like now interviewing him, I'd be like, what trauma did you go through to be so bad? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, slick. Yo, bro, on the real, man, like, I'm just... You know, I've, I've, I've been hit with... I think it's not that. I think it's the music that people gravitate towards that I make. Because if, mm. if, you, if you listen to the albums, I always make sure that there's other, th- there's other songs out there that are uplifting with different sound or different feel. But people just gravitate. It's almost like... I, I even had this other dude like, who's a, a fan tell me that um, he prefers when I'm depressed. Well, Niggas want someone- me to be depressed. So, 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 someone, someone just wrote. It's good yeah, one of the fans, happy. like yo, man, because I, I recently took out a song. Uh, it's called "You Don't Know Me." It's featuring Raz and Lyndon Mark on the album, and we having fun. Even on video, we are having fun on the song. It's dope. And this dude's like, yo, I prefer when you depressed. That's so. It's like what people gravitate towards. They want me to be like they people box you. You can't blame me for that, bro. Stop having fun. Come on, bro. I mean. 
Look, three, three days <laughs> done saying it's good to see you happy. Oh, you see, that's because they, when yeah. niggas see you, they just expect to see you. I, I'm sure even if it wasn't raining in Pretoria, niggas expect, expect there to be rain in the background. <laughs> 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 oh man i just feel like if in artistry we all have different things to 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 offer you know what i mean if i'm looking for i know for a fact if i'm looking for a different feel or different sound if i'm looking for like some fun shit i know which artist to check for if i'm looking for some like you know what i want to listen i feel like i want my soul to be fed i'll probably go check for hey, a common did common sense drop anything that you know what I mean? Did Kendrick Lamar drop anything? It depends on what you're looking for. That's all it is. So, 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 but, so, so it's but in South that, Africa, like, it's like in South Africa, it's like they want you to do everything, everything, just do everything, bro. It's like we want you to be the fun guy, we want you to be the happy guy, we want you to be the sad guy, we want you to be the. Come on, my nigga. Doesn't but work like that. But I disagree because you were trying to be a happy guy, and the guy said, "No, stay depressed. What are you doing now?" No, <laughs> no, no. What I'm saying is, what people gravitate towards. There's yeah. artists, even though all these artists that I've mentioned, they have songs. Let's say if if there's an artist that makes happy music, he's got a song there in the album or project that's like heartfelt. But people don't check for him for that. They don't go to him for that kind of material. They go to him for the happy shit. And then yeah. there's certain artists that, you know, like Common Sense. Common Sense has tried to go do some club shit. You know he's done it. He's tried to do some common, like, club shit. And, like, niggas are like, nah, B, we're not trying to hear that. Because they don't check for him like that. That's what I'm trying to say. They go to him like, yo, man, we want we want to be like, yo, give me something, bro. Give me something. That's the material that I want to hear from you. And that's what happens. I'm the same. They just put me like that. Like, yo, bro, yeah, you can do the happy shit, but we're not really. I dropped songs. Move over. Like. Niggas don't give a fuck about that kind of material. They want the uh, gloomy rain at the background. They want that shit. <laughs> so, I mean, understanding that then, you know, I mean, my question is that, like, how do you stay authentic and true all the time when you are putting out these so-called gloomy, um, like, songs or verses? Um, my, my music comes from life. Like, it's, it's really... I don't believe, even you, I don't believe that everybody's happy all the time. That's a fucking lie. I just express, I'm happy. you know, when I, yeah, no, what? Nigga, please. I'm happy. <laughs> please. <laughs> You're happy in public. Yeah. I'm talking about as a human being. Human beings, human beings go through different emotions. I just try to talk about all of them. You know what I mean? And, and it just so happens that people gravitate towards the, the, because I think people are hurting slick. I think people are going through a lot of shit, bro. People, especially like, people are going through a lot of shit, a lot of shit, and they just sometimes are waiting or listen, waiting to hear from someone that can like sympathize or empathize with them through the, the the music that they make. So people are hurting, bro. You'd be surprised. You know what I mean? You'd be surprised. I don't want to. I don't want this conversation to get gloomy and shit because I can tell you a lot of shit like this, the mail, the, the the mail I get and the DMs and all. I can tell you some real shit, but I don't want to. I don't want to get there. Let's talk about some fun shit. Yeah. Nah, people don't want. People never came here for fun when they saw that. Nah, let's talk about fun, bro. Let's talk about. Like, <laughs> oh shit, we gotta how, get into the blue. How do you Come keep on, it busy? Huh? 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 Nah. Say what? You got. I'm saying, how are you keeping busy at home? What you doing? You cleaning the house over and over? Um, I, I find myself super busy at home. Yes, sir. You know, uh, for me, there's nothing like as, uh, as, as great as free time because I'm writing. I mean, you won't believe I still, I'm still waking up like at, a, like what? I woke up at half past four this morning, you know, just so I yeah. can start writing things and just doing things and doing work, you know. And yeah. I've got ideas of other things also where I'm literally just like, the only way you're going to get this done is if no one is awake and you're just on your own. So, like, so I'm excited. Do you think that, yeah. do you think that things are ever going to be the same, though, for artists? Um, for artists? Mm, I think artists are still living in a bubble, you know? Um, it's like, you know, with corporate companies, corporate companies knew that, okay, this is how we need to move when the world changes. But I don't think artists mm. have changed their mentality, you know, or they start. I think, I more. think, yeah, I, I, I just think, you know, I'm, I'm blessed, bro, because 
with the acting and, and, and script writing and shit, you know, I've, I've transitioned before. I'm not going to be rapping forever. I don't want to rap in my 40s, 50s. I don't want, that, you know what I mean? I think I got two, three albums left in me. And then PC, I can have this shit. You know, um, I'm I'm making my transition. <laughs> you know, so I just feel like a lot of a lot of artists uh, is one trick pony kind of thing, and it hurts you in this kind of situation because now you only have one stream of of of, of income. If it's not the gigs, if it's not the the streaming, it's you know what I mean. You're in trouble. You know what I mean. I think this is a time. I know I've taken that time to also just discover new things that we could do, just like ideas and starting up things and starting up, you know, a company that could help propel and get more um, uh, uh, st uh, money coming from different avenues. You know what I'm saying? Because clearly, man, this has just been a, 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 this has been a clear picture that, you know what I mean? If this shit could ever happen again or something worse than this, because we can't survive as artists without performance, bro. Even even as an actor, even theater shit, like, what, what what happens now? You know what I'm saying? So it's scary. It's really, really scary to think about. But it's also time to just sit back and think about things that niggas then weren't even thinking about. Publishing and who, where's your, what's happening with your publishing? A lot of, I know a lot of niggas wasn't checking for that. Like, my publishing, what's happening with my publishing and shit like that. You know what I mean? And this is the time to really buckle down and learn more about those things. I feel I mean, for me, and, and you know, it's funny you say you want rap for, I mean, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not 40, but I, I will be soon, <laughs> you know what I mean? But like... No. <laughs> you can, though. You can do whatever you want, because it's different with me. I'm introspective. I can only talk about, if you listen to my music, I talk about myself a lot. There's different kinds of rappers. Some rappers are narrators, like a Rick Ross, uh, a Pusha yeah. T. They yeah. narrate, so yeah. they can rap forever. Jay-Z, he narrates, he tells his story and stories of his friends, and I don't do that. I talk about my thing. I talk about mostly what I'm going through, what I'm feeling. I can only talk about that for so long, bro. I think I've, um, I think I've, I'm, I'm reaching a level, a point now where I'm like, I'm tired, because that shit is tiring. It's, it's spiritually draining as well. It's like sucks the light of every single song that I take, especially the songs that are, people gravitate towards, the dear gods or the soaked in bleach. That shit takes a lot, you know what I mean? So I, I, re I reach a point where I'm like, I can't, I can't, it, it's, it's a lot. It takes a lot from you as an artist. So I don't want to be going through my 40s and I'm looking 64 because I'm still, nah, I, I'm trying to be happy in my 40s, bro. I'm going to be a happy nigga. But like, Mom, you know, rap niggas. But, but let me just, like, that's the beauty of rap, though. But rap doesn't need you to... To, I mean, I know you say, but you can rap, you know, Very rap true. on the beat, you know. I mean, yeah. I just like, you know, I, the difficulty for me to rap is that I, I feel my dialogue or my narrative is not um, a popular narrative in the space, you know, where, yeah. you know, I mean, I talk about, I'm able to narrate. Business. I, can, I mean, if you're in a group yeah. like Scott, it can be must be able to adapt to anything because people come at different yeah. things, right? But like yeah. when I'm when I'm narrating and I'm writing my own things, um, I always find myself writing educational rap. You know what I mean? And yeah, um, niggas ain't trying to hear that. You know, I, but I'm not <laughs> concerned about it because I want to rap. It's not about what they want to hear. Yeah. You know, I don't know whether yeah. you heard my. I don't know whether you saw my freestyle Friday with Doomy. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 I peeped that. It, yeah. it, it was a, it was a flex, but it yeah. was some kind of. But you trying to, you teaching, you try, which is you teaching. But like, I feel like, bro, see what were you talking about? You can do that till you fifties and whatever. You can do. I can't. I'm in. I can't, bro. I can't. I'm. It's like if you listen to Joe Budden, where you did you ever listen to Joe Budden albums and whatever and his material after the Def Jam shit. I understand yeah, yeah. why Joe Biden quit. I understand. I can personally say I understand why he quit rapping because I I have the same thing. I have the same. That shit is draining, bro. That shit is. It takes the life out of you. It messes up relationships. It fucks up really. It's it's a lot because you find yourself in this bubble and you don't even know what you. Sometimes it's hard to even connect with people because you're too much in your own. So the only way I'll probably get to a place where I can be like ah. Is when I've gotten all of that out 
and it's getting through the music. But after that, then I'm I'm gonna say peace to the music and transition and do something else. You know, I want to direct. I want to write script. You know, you never I want to write script. But I want to write script. But, but <laughs> writing, a, wanna, writing a verse is writing a script, though. Writing a no, but that's uh, that's not script. like it's, it's, yo. It's writing, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this, bro. Let me tell you this. You know when I've been doing this theater stuff. Yeah. It's so away from hip hop and essay hip hop, and I love essay hip hop. I've given my fucking life to this shit. But when I'm away from that, I feel so lighter, bro. I feel light. The space, the energy, the people. Nobody gives a fuck. There's no egos. There's no bullshit. This and niggas talking behind each each other's backs and people sizing you up. There's there's none of that shit. It's just artists and actors that just want to get into a space and portray the characters that they need to portray. There's not that none of that rap shit is there, and I love that. And then I and then maybe the show will end, and then I go back to the rap shit and I'm like ah back. I check just all I have to do is just check Twitter and the timeline. Ah niggas are back on this bullshit. I, it's tiring. I mean, it's tiring. You know that it's tiring sometimes. But because we love it, we be involved and we, we participate, but it's tiring sometimes. You know what I mean? I, my way to get through this hip-hop shit is that, I, I mean, you know, there's a Slick on Life page and then there's my personal Siam Danny page, right? And yeah. my personal That's where you Siam escape. Yeah. And like and like you know on the Slick on Life page, I I I I browse to look for new music, new releases, look for what's up. And then when I find out someone new is coming in, we I follow them or someone from the team follows them. The point is that like yeah. you know um I take this hip hop thing as as one world and I'm another world. You know what I mean? So yeah. I interact with it the same way I'm gonna interact with like the world of panel beating you know what i mean oh, yeah. um, and i don't and i don't and i don't like getting involved in beefs that's why I even slick on life as a platform you know how many mm. shit you could write scandalous shit you know about people's lives now because, that's, a, I, because that's the thing with me i'm tired of the gossip shit i'm tired of I'm tired of that pretentious shit, bro. I'm a real person. I'm a real per It's in the music. I don't have time to be seeing someone now and we're kicking it maybe in the studio session and then we go to a fucking club or an event and it's different. I don't. That shit is kid shit to me. It's childish. It's like, how, so hence I'm saying when I'm in that different space, the acting space, it's refreshing to me. It's like, yo, man, niggas ain't showing you. The niggas ain't trying to prove nothing to no one. It's love. It's dope. It's work. So that for me is tiring of, of the rap shit. And I wish, I, I wish one day we wouldn't have that. I wish we just had, I know I've seen a lot of artists try to do the fellowship thing. My niggas, let's just support each other. You know what I mean? Let's just push. Let's let it be about the work and the music. I've seen a lot of artists do that or try to do that. But it's just not cool. It's corny yeah. to do that shit. Let, let me it's corny. tell you something. Corny right? to be cool. It's corny to be good. I mean, well, <laughs> what? I, I, I want I want you to hold that thought, right? Just give me like a minute. Yeah. Sorry to everybody. I don't. I'm no gonna doubt, go bro. Get my, I'm, I'm gonna go get my charger. As you can see, I'm not home, but I came with the charger. Yeah. So let me just run to get my charger, just for a minute. You know. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Let me give me a sip. Mm. And, and and like I'll give him his due because he everyone else is giving yeah. him his due too. But yeah. I'll talk about Ready D, you know what I mean? Because Ready D will yeah. then go, he will talk about dimples as a DJ. You understand? So yeah. I'm just talking about the, the, the power of like just buying into each other. So there's also this yeah. social media thing with cats where cats are trying to keep their social media pages sacred. That's why they can't <laughs> retweet or repost. Or it's like their social media pages are like this, like holy kind of space where they can't show love they just always got to show how strong they are and how powerful they are and how much okay slick since we're not since since we're living in a world where we're not humans anymore we fucking we we we, we log in passwords what what the fuck happens when none of this shit is existing when all of this shit is gone what happens then what what happens when when insta's gone twitter's gone all the shit is gone. I'm just making an example. All this is not gonna. It's never gonna die because as soon as one dies, there's another. You know what I mean? That's gonna pop up. But what happens since people don't have an? I understand why so many people are depressed because of this shit. I understand it because 
Every single person, I've been guilty of it myself. Every single person, you post what's dope about your life. Nobody ever posts, hey man, it's rough. Let me, yo, let me take a picture of the fridge right now. It's rough. Check the fridge. I only got the one milk carton and a cabbage on the corner. It's rough, my niggas. Look at this. Nobody's going to do that shit. We all post what's dope. We all post, it's a facade. It's fake shit. We all post what's dope, what's happy, what's like, yo, when you, whenever you're doing something monumental or something dope, you post that because that's the image that you want to give to people. But whatever happened to humanity? Whatever happened to us just being real? That's what I'm saying. That's why people are sacred about these pages and like, yo, my shit's sacred. And like, yo, I don't want to. Because niggas are not true. There's nothing. Of course the music is not going to be real. If you can't even be real on your own shit, of course the music... I'm, I'm not dissing nobody. Please don't get this misconstrued and say Peter Rowe is dissing. I'm just saying there's a lack of real music in South Africa because of that. Because everybody's living in this facade state of... We just... Nobody's... Like you said, doesn't translate. Nobody's true or real with themselves. I, 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 sometimes I'll listen to albums. I'll listen to albums and I still feel like, yo, I don't know this homie. The music is sonically. The music is dope. I like the. I, I like the. The music is dope sonically. It sounds dope. The rhymes are fire. Everything is dope. But I don't know you. For me, when I listen to an album, I need to feel like I know you, bro. That's just how I am, and I understand. But I'm also learning now to understand that there's different kinds of artists. Some artists are not album artists, and that's okay. Some artists are singles artists. Some artists are features artists. Some artists are just good on stage. Some artists are not. But b back then, maybe I just was asking for too much. Like if someone says, yo, I want to, this is my album. This is what I'm producing to the world. I always expected, me, after I listened to it, I know you. Fuck, I know this person. But I understand now that artists are different. So I'm not going to be holding people to the same standards. I'm you just know saying, what? man. Like this. So, so let me be real with you, even on the content side of things. I'm not too hard on what artists release from a content side of things. You know what I mean? Um, if, like, guys are dropping some mainstream shit, like, you know, whatever. All I'm just saying is that if that's an artist's goal, if his goal is to make people turn up and literally end up in the club, I cannot be in the way of their goal. I can, I, my judgment cannot be in the way of their goal. You know what I mean? Okay, but, so, okay, Slick, so, but do you agree that you can do both? No, but like we can do both, but everybody has got they and everybody's got a they reason why they're here. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So Absolutely. with that being said, you know, I mean like some guys literally just they just they just grew up in Sanson and they all they wanted is just be <laughs> in that club and not pay. Then tell me that. Then tell me that. Tell me but but bro, but, but they can't, but they, can't but, but they can't tell you that because because it's going to be like, they're stupid. You know what I mean? So, but their music tells you that. <laughs> no, like, no, no. I've always wanted no, to No, no. What I'm saying is, Slick, what, I, what, what, I'm, in the what I'm saying is, Slick, we human beings. I don't give a fuck whether you're rich, whether you're broke, whether you... we human beings. Every human being, I mean, every human being has experienced some sort of love, some, whether you have love for your mother or you have love for your, for your friends or you have love for your woman every human being has experienced jealousy a lot of niggas you see they jealous of a lot of shit it's it's you see it but they don't talk about it in the music a lot of that's what i'm saying just, just be real let me feel like i know you. but but that's the all thing, i'm though, saying they, 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 uh, there's a huge need for reaffirmation before i give you my truth right so i want you to i want i want peter to say yo slick but you know you do it you know, before I give you my truth, right? I'm using that as an example. So people literally yeah. think that after reaffirmation, they'll give you the truth. But one yeah. lie leads to another lie, to a bigger lie, and they're not, they, they're not aware that they're getting into a bigger and a bigger lie. You know what I mean? So by the time you come yeah. here with your wokeness and try to tell them what it yeah. is, they're so deep in the lie that, nigga, <laughs> you're talking bullshit. The lies. You know, you know the you know the yeah, saddest the thing. And I've also been attacked. Yeah, you know the saddest thing, bro. I've also been attacked into. Yeah, but like, yo, we the niggas is trappers. I'm not attacking. Tra I love trap music, bro. I fucking love trap music. I'm a big fan. I'm mean, in fact one of my favorite rappers right now. You'd be shocked, Lil Baby. I don't know if you've listened to his album. Lil Baby is a fucking dope artist, but there's content in the music. Yeah, content yeah, is yeah, important. Yeah. I, when I listen to Lil Baby, I still know. Yes. This, 
This nigga's a South nigga, he's a trapper, but I understand he's, te he's telling niggas that he's been to jail. He's telling niggas that you ain't had shit before. He was fucked up, was sleeping on the couch. He's, there's a story there. Like, I feel like I can, oh shit, okay, this guy's, he's got so many other artists do that. So many others are in, in the trap, in the trap space, even Kodak Black. I'm not a big fan of Kodak Black, but he was also talking about his truth. It's not about the genre of the music. It's about you telling me who you are. I can't listen to an album and it feels like a compilation of good songs, bro. So, it's a, a so compilation of good songs. Let, so let's go. So let's go back huh? to high school. Then. Let's go back to high school, right? In high school, you always had you always had the nigga that used to always suck up to the teacher, but you know he was a yeah. fucked up nigga. You know, outside Klaus is a yeah. fucked up nigga. You faked it, you know. Yeah, yeah, In the yeah, yeah. True. Show, you know, you always had the real yeah. nigga who literally this guy wasn't the loudest, but he'd get the highest marks, right? Yeah, he true. He had the loudest yeah. cat who get the highest mark. He had the loudest cat who knew he was going to fail anyway, and he was 100 with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and then you had like you had this person who was always trying to be clever, but they were always acting like they never got like an F. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That's in a classroom. Imagine in a yeah. world, you know. So it's human nature for us to have these these balance, yeah. these kind of like um. Um, inconsistent personalities yeah. And, yeah. and because even us, let me use an example P. Dot, you could say some dope shit but you're a fucked up dude in real life you, you beat up your girlfriend, yeah. you beat up your wife, and then you get them conscious That's true. Who, That's true. who's saying all this deep shit but they fucked up people when That's you meet in the streets, you're That's like true. sad, you know, but like on your song <laughs> you're like, yo, my sister you know, <laughs> when you bleed, when you bleed, when, you, bleed, when you, miss, you know what I mean? So for me, that's, I'm, I'm not, I'm not too. That's, not but that's too, fake too. Yeah. But, but that's why I'm not too heavy on people's content. Because content mm. is not always, content is part of creative. It's like, I can't be mad yeah. at Steven Spielberg to go, yo, you, you niggas are busy, I'm a Jurassic Park, we are so with dinosaur, you know what I mean? I know, but that's, what I, that's why I went back to my thing, oh, there's different kinds of rappers, there's different kinds of, there's narrators, and there's introspective rappers, and there's rappers that are about hit making, there's, there's different kinds of, and that's okay, but I, it's, it's, I also feel like our audience, bro, our audience is also sometimes frustrates me so much, man. Like, and I understand because they still consume what's given to them. You know what I mean? The consumer will consume what's given to them. If, if they see, the more they see you, the more they'll consume. I understand that. But a lot of times I get frustrated with people that just like, I'll see these things all the time. Yo, we don't have any real rappers in SA. Motherfucker, that's the internet. If you just listen to fucking radio and watch TV, all oh, that's all you do. There's so many artists in the world, bro. There's so many artists in the world. But people are too lazy to go to fucking Spotify and check the playlist. There's so many artists that are on there. And then you listen and you discover, oh, this nigga is fucking beautiful. He's dope. And Jay-Z was at the Breakfast Club once. He was having an interview. And they asked him the same things like, yo, bro, you decide as an individual what you support. Not everything has to be a community thing. We don't all have to sit down and be like, yo, let's all support this nigga as a community. No, if you feel like, hey, man, I don't really like this nigga music. I, I like that nigga music. That's the nigga I fuck with. But the, yo, no, no, the community is saying, no, nigga, fuck you. The community is saying, Ish. but my homie, I fuck with him. It's okay. That's what I'm saying. It's okay to do that. But we, we, and this is not just in hip hop. This is just in the world, period. Like we have such a follow mentality, especially South Africa. Like this is what is supposed to be. Yo, this is the trend that we're going to. It's okay, bro. It's okay to like somebody else that people don't fuck with. That's okay. Be an individual. Find music. And that's why I get frustrated when niggas come out there when there's a Black Les and there's a Shane Eagle and there's a P.O.O. and you're telling me there's no real rappers in South Africa. What the fuck are you talking about? That's what frustrates me because he only consumes what's been given to them in a, in a, in a major um, form. That's what frustrates me sometimes. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, right? If, um, let's just name a name, let's just say a rapper who's doing well, say Ricky Rick, say Casper New Best. Yeah. If you say there are no rappers in the country, right, and you got a Ricky Rick and a Casper New Best as an example, right, um, should even an AKA, you know, yeah. who are moving so much streams, right, yeah, 
getting so many people consuming their stuff. Then, yeah. if we're saying that there's fake rappers, then they fake rap fans too. You know what, <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just saying their success is a reflection of the community. Their success yeah. is a reflection that, of the community. But, but, and it's but the, those niggas are the same but, 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 but this is what I'm saying. You know, when people say there's a lot of fake rappers, whatever the case may be, it's like Will yeah. Smith, is a, as when he was rapping, he was a reflection and his success when mm. he was making the bubblegum rap, he was a reflection mm. of the community because people mm. bought into him. So all of True. a sudden, when you start saying there's no, not enough rappers in the country, it, you yeah. start falling in the opinion mode because there are yeah. things to counter that thinking and i know when people yeah. are listening to casper they're not going or or or, or ricky they're not going yeah they're not going my piano they're not going it on they say yeah. you yeah. know what i mean so essentially when someone comes back and goes there's no fake rappers this guy is literally his opinion in a stream of i know about the, the, yeah you're right stream of, of, of like like contradicting information it, it, is. Right it is. It is. You're right. But I also have the right yeah. to ignore it too because, come on, bro. You know what I mean? So I'm as just, an artist, you also you're right. have the right to ignore it too, you know? Mm. Yeah. I'm just, no, you're right. You're right, Stick. I'm just, it just tires me out because I would even say this, bro. I think South Africa has the best plethora of talent in the world. Even, we, we, pro we probably might be even better than the States. Like, what I mean by plethora is different kinds and styles of rap and rappers. You know what I'm saying? When I was making that exam example of people saying, yo, there's no rappers that touch the heart or whatever, niggas just are lazy, bro. Because you will, you will, you will hate on the rappers like you've mentioned. Niggas will sit there and hate on them and they say, yo, they're not giving me what, but then you're not checking for other rappers that you say you want to listen to. Let's say you're you, 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 one of those niggas that like boom, bap, straight backpack, boom, bap shit. That's just about bars and bars. There's rappers that do that. In SA, they there. So you just complaining. There's a lot of people that just get on this platform and just complain and complain and say we don't have enough of this, we don't have enough of that because niggas are lazy. They don't want to go through the internet and find these artists that are looking for. It's there. It's all there. You know what I mean? Because, because people are because the consumer also is conflicted between what they really want and between what everyone else wants and being po and being popular that's what i'm saying so community so, so that's a, so that's what, so that's why i'm saying that like you know um an artist can never be blamed for anything if there's a consumer that's consuming it an artist is then doing their job true. you know what i mean true so if anyone yeah. wants to take shots it's easier to take a shot at the guy at the top but why don't you take a shot at everybody that's eating off the hands of the guy that's feeding you guys from the top but, but, but why I mean? why do we even have to take shots at the guy at the top what, what what's why because like, he's an easy what, i've, he's I've an seen easy i've talk. literally seen niggas go from i've seen niggas go from Yo, nasty is fucking incredible, and nasty is fucking incredible. To like, yo, nasty show. Why is he now all of a sudden whack? Because he's 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 one of the biggest rappers in the country. What makes people? I I think sometimes people have, especially the consumer, they have that thing where when an artist is still like coming up, and he's ours. It's like we. We, we, it's just us and this close-knit community that knows about this artist. And then when the whole world knows about him, it's just humans. Humans are like that. That's why niggas, of, it's not like niggas now all of a sudden become whack when they big. It's like people like to build you up and build you up and then you get to a position they're like, ah, fuck, they want to tear you down. It makes no sense to me. But there's the, yeah, those are the things but, that you can't find. But then again, now once again, that goes back to the mentality of the consumer. Now, I think we put a lot of pressure on on on, on nasty, you know, um, to take us to the promised land, you know. Um, but in his generation, he's probably the guy who is um, really trying. Besides, like um, how, you know, uh, let me use an example. You know, I mean, people always ask us ask us about yo when he's being to Aries, and you know, we know Aries is dope. You know, in fact. My relationship with Aries goes back to when he sent his first tape to me. You know what I mean? So I still see him as that same kid. I don't care how big he thinks he is because I've seen bigger. You know what I mean? So, so 
I'm being 100 with you. You know what I mean? I'll fuck with I'll fuck with And I don't mean that in a disrespectful sense. I just I'm yeah. bigger, yeah. right? But Aries, in yeah. my opinion, is a guy who's built his momentum and his talent for himself, right? Yeah. And he doesn't, let's say we want to do an interview or he wants to engage, he doesn't literally, he's not sharing his momentum with anybody else. He's got the right to do that. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. The yeah. SDC yeah. literally like shares his momentum with everyone else. So whether that's the media, whether it's people that want to talk yeah. to him, whether it's the shows, whether yeah. so he shares the momentum and he's accessible. Whether his phone is, I don't even know his number, but like I'm just saying, yeah. this, these these are the levels of success. There are people who yeah. share their momentum, and when I say mm. share momentum, it doesn't mean how many people are you putting on. It means that if I call P dot and I say, Yo, P dot, that shit is dope. Can we book you for a show? P dot, that shit is dope. Yeah. Yeah, I book you for an interview. You like, yeah. go, even if you don't make it, you will still interact and go, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and also, so, so, so when I say I see Aries as, the, as, as that kid, it's because I give him, like, the, he's got a right. I cannot hold it against him and say, you need to yeah. share your momentum. We can't. Yeah. We can't. Yeah. And his fans, and his yeah. fans literally also need to understand that that's the artist he is. He's building his hype by not showing the momentum. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But so you find, I, I, and, you find and you find empty, who's empty like people literally love him and he was sharing his momentum. But his support structure, which literally also yeah. helps and Shay's momentum literally like got yeah. interrupted. So he's trying to figure out if he only as the one that's sharing his momentum. You know? So with Nasty sharing I think his I... momentum, at this point right now, if whoever ever the whoever sees him in the job as the South African consumer is not to mm. pull him down, but to show the world that the mere fact that we that's a door open. You mad, you're sitting at home, you mad, you're saying it's a garbage show, but you're not fucking supporting anyone that's doing that. These people are actually breaking borders for you and everybody that wants to direct shows, that wants to put together material and, and content and movies and series. They're breaking down these doors, but we can't stay. So I'm saying it's bigger than just a rap thing. It's, it's, it's just mm. how black people are. And that's just something that we fight every day. Bro. You know what I mean? And, 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 that's, and that's a real thing, you know, and... And that's why, you know, and I really want to put it out there. It's this is not a. I mentioned Dries, Nasty, and 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 Empty, and 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 I'm talking about my perception of them because I don't think that Dries doesn't want to do an interview or doesn't want to do anything because he feels a certain way about it. That's his mood. When he sees me, there's a certain level of respect, and that's just how it is. So I got to respect his mood because what he's doing, he's also empowering the culture of exclusive exclusivity and building a cult following. You know what I mean? So if I'm going to literally yeah. like bash him for that, I'm missing the fact that, like, yeah. wait a minute. That on digital, we probably haven't seen anything like that. So on the one side, yeah. he's actually doing something that's never been done before. And there might be more artists mm. like him do the same thing who'll be able to mm. build a cult following on digital. Yeah. And they can literally yeah. go, when I move, this is what happens. So, you know, just because yeah. he's doing something, something a lot of people might not understand, it doesn't mean that he's doing yeah. the wrong thing at the same time. Yeah. Do you know what I, I mean? fully agree with but you. When, but when he comes out, all these fans that have been asking for him better make sure they pay to see him or they pay to yeah. go out for him because yeah. they can't always be talking shit and then when he comes out, then oh. they don't support it. Yeah, you know I mean? True. That's true. It's a problem we and, fight and in every day. For, for all those niggas that have been talking about scripts, I always go, if someone opens the door and you know that shit is whack, congratulate, bring yourself closer to that whack shit. And then one day you get your script that you think is dope. That's yeah. the only way. True, bro. How am I going to get into Netflix if I'm going to go, ah, oh, shit, you know, um, Queen Sono is this or that other. How am I, I'm literally going to go, oh, okay, this is how it works. Now let me find out who's doing it. And let me, like, this is just start writing my shit. And, um, and shout out to them. But if I'm already bashing Netflix out That's what happened. Because of... 
Yeah, you know, and this dog, you already closed your door. You think you bashed yeah, your bro. or Queen Sono, but you've just closed your door for Netflix. Yeah, and niggas don't understand the fucking invested. work. And right. niggas don't understand the fucking work that goes on behind the scenes with writing a script, putting a team together, all of that shit, shooting, getting budget, all of that shit is fucking work, bro. And for you to pitch a show and they fucking take the show and they... That's huge. That's that's something... I think that's something that we should all be celebrating for Queen Sona. We should all be celebrating any South African production that gets that level of... of, of you know what I mean? Goes to that level where they, they 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 get these chances and they get these opportunities. To, we should be celebrating that because somebody else can come behind and be like, okay, I'm gonna take it to the next level. But we don't think like that. We think, oh shit, nah, this shit is whack. Nah, he's whack. He's whack. But niggas are sitting at home eating popcorn and getting fat. They're not doing anything. They go into their back to their fucking small cubicle at work and sit in there and like, yes, boss, okay, yeah, okay, okay, yes, but that's all niggas do. And they quick to bash and fucking get on the internet and bash people. That shit is tiring. Now you understand why. I'm going back to full circle when I said I get tired of this rap shit, bro. And this, int I get tired. I I'm a real person. I don't. This shit is tiring, Slick. It drains you. Let me ask you a question. Then I like the fact that you keep on saying that you're a real person. Um, too much. But you gotta ask yourself though: Are you also engaging with real people too? Because, <laughs> All the time. Because if you you also have the choice of engaging with fake people, so if you so so that's that's literally how I keep my sanity. I don't engage. I don't engage. But see, I but, like, but see, you I, always I, I, gonna be. There's always gonna be fake you, people around you. Are you gonna run away? Let me, let me ask. No, no, no. I don't have any fake people around me, and. And no, but you're, bus you're, a bus you're a businessman. You're a businessman. Sometimes you walk into interviews and there's fake people there. Do you run? What do you do? But yes, what I'm but saying is you always the, come into contact but that, with fake. But that's for that. Mo but that's for that moment. It's for that moment. It's that hour meeting. I'm out, right? But I don't really yeah. make it a factor because here's my thing: the momentum and my voice in my head has to be consistently loud. Has to be consistently mm. talking to Sia. You can do Sia. Keep going. This voice has to be so loud that I can not yeah. make the mistake of bringing a big person. Whether I'm jumping on social media, whether I'm yeah. whether I'm literally engaging with a hater or whatever, I cannot mm. do that. B, you know what I mean. Mm. So for me, I've yeah. made myself like as like I'm so you know I'm I feel I'm super humble, but I think I'm so important in my own head that I need to make sure that I don't mm. have anyone else that literally will qu question the importance I think I have. I think that's food for thought for me. That's something I need to take with me and just, I need to adapt that more, bro. I, I feel you. I need to take because, that for because, me. And because, just inject, because, you know? because, Pete, let me tell you, a lot of people come from broken families. A lot of people come from dysfunctional backgrounds. A lot of people come from a, a lot where they grew up, where they have to, they carry hate. They carry jealousy. You don't mm. know where these things come from. And you might, you're, you're not, you might not be coming from those things. So why are you mm. going to put yourself in situations where you know that your parents and these guys' parents, your, if your parents were there and their parents ran away, or their parents ran, they will never click. So o automatically with their kids, you're not going to click to. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's those yeah. things. It's not, there's nothing wrong with you acknowledging your importance and seeing that like, Maybe it's something coming there, but I see where the dude is. I respect him for what, but in my energy, he's disruptive. And it's maybe not even his fault. You. you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. No, you're my, right, Mark, My son watches all these killer, thing, killer things where all these guys are killing people. And the story always starts like they were mistreating the guy, and then he started killing people. No, no, he watches what? He, wait, he watches what? <laughs> he watches all what? these, like... Jeffrey Dahmer shit, you know, and everything else, you know. Yo, shit, yo, bro. No, you need to he's check that, bro. That's he, he's, he's too young for that, bro. Dahmer! Yeah. Listen, he's watching all this shit, and then he always, like, comes back with the theory that it started from this and this and that, you know. And the reality is that, like, everybody, they, if someone can't get over the hurt, the karma is that mm. it's going to carry on further. If someone can't Fuck. get over the hurt... The comments that like they will actually be so super clean. It's like you know, if you were abused, like molested, then you're gonna maybe try help all the molested kids and try. Yeah. But if you can't yeah. get over it, you're gonna be the biggest molester in the arcade. 
Do you know what I mean? If you've watched Aish. the documentary, because R. Kelly started from, they touched him the wrong way. And then it carried That's on. That's all I've been watching. That's all I've been watching lately is documentaries, bro. I'm, I'm just, yeah, man, you're right. You're right. But just speaking so on briefly, 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 just, you need to check out a documentary called Wild, Wild Country. It's on Netflix I, I right now. It. I know you probably, you seen that I shit? Do. Yeah, yeah. With the bu bu but, one? But yeah, but before that I shit's crazy. It there, I just wanted to bring it back to the rap shit. And I just said, and the people yeah. you keep around you, you don't know what mm. other people's families have done to their kids. And these kids are your peers. And these kids are the, you don't know what they, you don't know, you don't know what other people come with. And sometimes they, it's just not a negativity towards you. It's a negativity towards anyone like you in a position like you. And you internalize that. So we need to also mm. acknowledge the gifts that we have in the positions that we are at. And when we're in mm. those positions, we got to see those positions as a blessing. But they're not always going to be comfortable for some people, even though we're not, we don't mean any harm and we never stunted on them. And we never did anything to make them feel... I, 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 I think for me, you're absolutely right. Because my father was a humble man, bro. And that was my role model. You know what I mean? I've always been taught to be good to people, be nice to people. So whenever somebody came at me or was jealous of me or didn't fuck with me in some way, it was a shock to me. Like, bro, I thought, okay, because I can't, my brain doesn't comprehend that. Like, because I know I wouldn't do that. If somebody is doing something beautiful and doing well, that's why I was going back to the, the point of congratulating people. Like, yo, bro, congratulations. Fucking mm -hmm. dope. I'm happy for you. I want to see people happy. I want to see people shine. I want to see people grow. But when they don't do it to me and they show that animosity towards me, it's always like, yo, okay. I thought, in my brain, I thought we we're all supposed to be happy for each other. But I've learned now that the world doesn't work like that. You don't have to hurt somebody or fuck somebody over for them to not fuck with you. Some people just don't want to see you succeed. Some people just don't want to see you have what you have. And so I agree with what you're saying is it goes with family and what's happened to them and what they've been dealing with. It's something that it took me years to understand, but I understand it. it's, it's a reality, bro. So let the best way to deal with it sometimes. Yeah. And, and let me give you an example. I like the fact that you talk about how you raise your family because it's similar to me also. Like we've always been taught to give pound, give respect, show love. Yeah. But yeah. I realize yeah. how crazy the world is, is that in order for me to consistently pound people, I had to build a platform like Stick On Life. So every post that we pull out, even if I got people that work with me, it's a pound. Mm. Like, yo, mm. this shit is dope. You got to listen to this. You got to watch yeah. this. You got to... So yeah. literally, like, I literally built a platform that's just about love. It's just giving love. Yeah. Giving love. Yeah. And so I'll go back yeah. to what I started from the beginning. It's not like we out here trying to write scandalous shit, but we just try to give as much love as yeah. we can. Now imagine yeah. if we yeah. start building all these love platforms. Now, I know that Slick on Life there's so much love and I can see that I sometimes as close because I'm a human being but I always have yeah. a default to but look at you yeah. in a platform of yeah. 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 all you I mean. ever do but all you ever all, all you ever try to do is help people and encourage people and empower people that's all you really but like it's, it's a mind fuck when you realize that not everybody wants that for you not everybody wants you to be successful. Not everybody wants you to have silicone online. Not everybody wants you to be successful. Not ev Some people don't want that shit. Some people are looking at you like, fuck that nigga, bro. And it's not like you did something. It's not like you hurt them. It's not like you fucked this girl or anything like that. It's just like they just don't want that energy. It's, they don't want that. And on top of that, when you're happy and you, and you come and you show love, you're my brother. And it's even, it, makes it, it makes them more infuriated. And more angry, like, yo, man, you're supposed to have that kind of anger that I'm feeling for myself and that kind of hatred that I'm feeling for myself. I'm trying to project this on you. Why aren't you not having that? Fuck you. But you raised different, bro. You get it from family. Your, your father wasn't like that. Your mother wasn't like that. So it's just things that I've learned over time that that's why I think sometimes because I'm a nice person, I think I consider myself a nice person. I just like, rather keep my distance on certain things because I don't like confrontation and fights. And shit like that. So I'd rather like, you know, do your thing. I'll do my thing. You know, it's love. You know what I mean? Because I, 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 we're just not going to clash. We're just not going to, you know, combine on certain things. So I understand what you're saying, bro. I feel you. 
But this uh, is we continue. Yeah. Yo, yeah, God, talk about your music quickly before we this thing cuts. Yeah, in. man. Yo, I dropped two albums in four months. In four, yeah, two albums, two discs. It's my first double disc. Uh, with two videos out, Dear God is out, um, and the You Don't Know Me. This this album is my third album, and like I said earlier, Slick, I think I got two, three left in me, maybe two, and then it's peace, niggas. <laughs> Like and you're shit, also, bro. Uh, and also, uh, yeah, I'm. Yeah. Go on. go on, go on. Yeah, I'm just saying, it's 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 the first album where because people would when I dropped Under the Sun, people said, "Yo, this album is dope," but it's so complainy, bro. It's so dark. We should celebrate the roses and and the, stop complaining, bro. It's like, okay, cool. This is the first album where I actually decided, let me let me, I mean, there's trap records there. Um, let me let me let me spread my wings a little bit. Let me actually experiment more with more sounds and shit like that. So, um, yes, of course, those introspective songs are there, but it's the first album where I actually um, did more in the plethora, and I actually added more sounds and more songs, and you know what I mean. So, yeah, the the, the response has been crazy, man. You know, I have I have that cult following, bro. That that always shows me love. They always keep my 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 name alive. Even when people don't want to hear my name, they always talk about me. They always shout me out. They always throw me in the conversation, even if I have nothing to do with nothing. So I'm grateful for them. And this is amazing why I'm doing this shit. I'm just doing it for them. Yeah. Yo, and that cult following better hit you up because we're going to do that live show with you. Like in a month. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We're going to do that live show. Do that? Oh, snap. Yeah. Wasn't so it supposed people. to be a surprise, homie? You just uh, edit it out, nigga. Uh, let's get it out, yo. So what we just trying to say yeah. is that, like, you know, we know that like artists aren't getting booked or whatever, or shows aren't happening because of, of where we are in the country and the world. But like for fans yeah. who actually want to watch a proper quality stream show, um, yeah. we want to yeah. we want to bring back your theatrical like there, you know, so people can buy tickets to the concert. So yeah. you know, I'm gonna hit you up and sort that yeah. out, you know, and um, and yeah. and your cult and your cult must do us culturally right. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, we're working on that. We need to. You need to give me those rehearsal dates, though. Those, are the, you know, so niggas can come through and rehearse, and you know, even if it's one or two days, you know what I mean. So we can come through and just fill the space out. Yeah, but we we very excited, bro. Uh, let's do it, man. Let's do it. And thank you for the interview. Thank you for this. This was dope. It was enlightening. Yeah, now I understand yeah. Slicker more. <laughs> shut up, bro. Well. <laughs> Yo, listen, there's nothing to understand. You just got to be in. Understand this nigga better, be bro. You just got to be in, yeah. man. The current, your currency is your existence. Man. If you can't, if you can't <laughs> literally, like, um, manage that currency of existence, you're in trouble. Yeah. Be, everything else will exist yeah. over you, and you'll be, uh, you'll be under the layer of everyone else's existence. The most, Shit. to sum that up, it just means that owning ownership means owning yourself, owning your ideas, yeah. owning the voice yeah. in your head. Because let me yeah. tell you one thing, B, everybody talks about owning land, but they don't own the voices on their head. And that's why social mm. media got you all fucked up and Instagram and all this. What's, what's, and what, all, and before you roll out, what's that, what's, that, what's, that, what's, that, what's that famous quote before you roll out? Uh, a man, uh, every hero first has to overcome themselves. You know that saying? Yeah, I heard that. Before like they that. conquer the world, before they yeah. conquer the world, every hero has to go conquer themselves. We, st a lot of us, are still trying to conquer ourselves. That's why we in trouble. You know what I mean? Some have but you already done it. But you, you know can't. I mean? You can't. You, you can't. You can't stop as long as you're alive. You know. Um. Even. Yeah. Even. At, I mean, the the best, most documented story, I guess, is Steve Jobs. Even when he had conquered, he still needed to conquer his own demons. It never stopped. You know, so mm. the journey yeah. of conquering never stops. Our job is to wake up and look forward to conquering ourselves and have incremental expectations of what we're going to conquer and not have these big motivational like, speaker you know I mean? niggas. Motivation, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you my homie, bro. No, that's real, though. That's real. I appreciate you, brother. I, I really appreciate you, man. Thank you for everything, and I don't take nothing lightly. Uh, and I appreciate every, every, you know, you always trying to encourage niggas. You're always trying to, you know, empower niggas. And we, we salute you for that, bro. Thank you, man. You know? Shut up, man. Shut yeah. up, man. Take okay. care, man, man. Are we out? Stay, stay locked. Yeah, stay, stay locked. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, peace. Broadcast live.